my name's Colin Robinson. I'm one of the founders of this hackerspace. Uh, we started it about uh, three years ago. It was um, uh, started by Rich Goldner, uh, Michelle, uh, and uh, myself. And it was basically a place to come and learn stuff that uh, the other guys didn't know. And so we have uh, an, a group of experts with different backgrounds. This is the entrance that we have here for the hackerspace. Uh, we have our open house day. We have two open houses per year, and primarily it's to educate the uh, public as to what capabilities we have. And this is just a historical section showing early computers. I'm sure a lot of hackerspace uh, members will have grown up with this kind of hardware. Let's move into the other room. Most hacker spaces uh, have an interest in 3D printing and uh, this is uh, a 3D printer that we purchased about a year and a half ago. Uh, we've actually used it to make um, useful parts. Um, I personally have used it to repair parts uh, for uh, items that could not normally be repaired and uh, we've used it for making parts for the hacker space in here. Let's move on over here. Our biggest investment is perhaps the uh, laser printer or laser cut here. And uh, we are finding new uses for this the, the whole time. Uh, primarily, uh, we've used it for making the uh, hardware for the robotics classes that we've been putting on for the high schools. And uh, a lot of the uh, parts have been cut out on this. Uh, we had looked at purchasing these parts uh, from uh, the manufacturers and they were coming in at six to you know, ten times the price that we could produce them for. So we've reverse engineered a lot of these items and uh, come up with a, a good use for this machine. And we're still finding uses for it. It uh, cuts this MDF board. Um, this is what our robotics uh, material is made from. And we've used it for cutting plastics, uh, etching metals, etching glass, and etch etching granite. This is a uh, a you know, granite ham core sign uh, that uh, has been etched on the on the laser cutter. Um, this is just kind of a gimmicky thing. It um, shows the capability of the machine for um, making complex parts. This is uh, really the first room that we completed in the hacker space. Uh, when we first moved in here, it was a storage warehouse for you know, boxes of banking records. And we have this set up for a ham radio station, uh, which I'll show you around the corner here. The station has full digital capability, and uh, we've used it for making contacts uh, over many parts of the world, um, Yugoslavia, South America, uh, throughout Europe and the US. Over in this section here, we have our computer projects section. Ross, when you smile for the camera. And uh, Ross is an expert at fixing computers. He's also uh, instigated our woodworking shop, primarily. Uh, the electronics shop, uh, we have the microscopes for doing fine electronics work, uh, plus oscilloscopes down here for tracking waveforms. These are some of the uh, items that we've made on the uh, laser cutter. Uh, they can be cut very precisely and assemble well. We can produce these for well under a dollar. This area, when we call the cave, when we first moved into the hacker space, this area was completely dark. It had no power or lights, and you could take a flashlight and shine it into the distance and not see the far end of the, uh, of the room. Uh, we built three rooms uh, in this space. The first one here is uh, the classroom, and we use this for uh, high schools. Uh, we put on projects for the high schools and local community colleges. Uh, we have an um, overhead projector and uh, this is where we put on our classes. Each of the classrooms and the rooms have a camera uh, so that uh, members can check in online to see if the 
Has anyone done it? They hack a space, and uh, these cameras you know, will tilt and pan and, and uh, zoom to some extent. One of our members has been into railroading all of his life. And uh, he has created this uh, model railroad, which has uh, been a big hit with a lot of the kids. And if you follow me down here. You can see uh, he's uh, spent a lot of time. Um, this is all uh, miniature gauge railroad equipment. All of the hills and so on have been made um, in, by molds that uh, Gene, uh, one of our founder members, has created. He's got the power turn off at the moment, otherwise I'd show you trains running around the tracks. Molding technology is uh, key. And, uh, these are some of the molds that uh, G makes. Uh, so you basically start out with a, a blank mold, fill it with a plaster of Paris. You can put different colors into it as you mold it to come out with the scenes. So this is an ongoing project. Let's move on. This hacker space has a fairly well equipped machine shop. Uh, we've got uh, some welding equipment uh, just to stand and uh, saw there. The lathe here is a mechanical metal lathe. Um, it is not a CNC lathe, but we use it for um, you know, making metal parts. Um, the, we also have a mill. Uh, this mill is a CNC mill. And uh, Rich, who's a computer expert, built the drives for moving the uh, mill and the X, Y, and the Z axes. And we've used this for teaching machining. An example would be um, a little like steam engine that uh, you can see is uh, this up to compressed air and you can, can drive it. Uh, students uh, build this as a project using the lathe and the mill. So they learn safety, they learn the different machining projects. The control for the CNC uh, mill is this, it's just a simple computer and we use G-code to put the uh, instructions into the machine. We started out building uh, in the, the woodworking area. This is a small mini uh, CNC router which was built uh, kind of initially as a, a model but it's migrated into a much larger machine, which I'll show you here. And this machine uh, will cut pieces of very large size. And an example of the kind of woodwork that we can do, this was made on that machine. I'll just, it's a, a really beautiful piece of uh, art there. Uh, one of our members, Ross, um, had his daughter down here, he took a 3D picture of his daughter's face and this is being uh, cut out on the machine, it's a work in progress to make a 3D uh, solid model of her. Let's move on. The woodworking shop We've got just about uh, all the tools you'd expect to find in the woodworking shop. Uh, we've got the radial arm saw here, a 10 inch saw. A planer, which we'll, we use for obviously cutting wood to thickness. A small band saw. Over here we have a dust extraction system. So the, uh, whenever you're doing woodworking you do create dust and this uh, we do our best to keep the dust down. Moving on around the corner here, we've got a chop saw um, and a, a joiner here, also a router, router table, and 
the table saw. This is probably the most useful saw in the woodworking shop and it's in heavy use. In terms of uh, drill presses, we have a couple of drill presses. This is one uh, and another one around the corner here. Also into um, lathe working, so a small lathe and we can do wood turning on this. Uh, one of our members has been using this and these are the, the kind of chisels that she used for making the, the parts. The hacker space is growing and uh, we've recently increased the space to pick up two new rooms. Uh, this room here is probably going to be a, a chemistry lab. Um, we're going to have an extraction uh, hoods here and uh, the workbench still on here. And the other expansion space we have, um, we're thinking about getting uh, commercial sewing equipment in here for doing work with leather and uh, projects like that. We'd like to diversify as much as we can with the kind of technologies that we can offer the community. So that's a quick tour of the hacker space here, the Foothill Granite Workshop. Thank you.